वेलकम बैक सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डीप एंड द गुड नॉलेज अबाउट द रिपोजिटरी हाउ टू क्रिएट द रिपोजिटरी हाउ अपडेट द फाइल हाउ टू रिजोल्व द मर्जिंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड वी हैव सीन लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कमांड थ्रू विच वी कैन एक्सेस अवर रिमोट रिपोजिटरी टू अवर लोकल मशीन सो इन दिस वीडियो let's see other option which are available in the github so let's start so in this we'll go some other option which are available in the github it is the first one you can take it's the download you can download the zip file if you don't want to copy the repository we have a issue pull request project wikis inside and setting we have a branch so here we can see how many branches we have created for this master repository then release who are the contributor for this and which license we are using so let's see with this setting so what are the thing available in setting the name of the repository the different features you know all this thing it is available on top so we will we will go one by one so no worry about that so let me scroll it down and find the other option okay so dangerous zone okay great what is this dangerous zone make this repository private okay we can make the upper rep our repository as we know that but the point is we have to upgrade by paying 7 dollar per month transfer ownership okay if you are in the stage where you are going to die sorry otherwise you want to have a, don't want to continue with your job to maintaining your uh, git repository you can transfer the ownership to other person so they can handle it so it types of reducing your head your burden to other by distributing archive the repository make this repository as archive and read only you can do you can delete it so if you don't want to have this repository in your github you can delete it but before deleting be careful once you have deleted means it's very difficult it's not difficult it's not possible at all to recover so these are the option which is like i have to dangerous zone is the important and let me go other option what are the available available calibrate so here okay let me give the password okay login so here you can add the people search by name you only able to find the github user by their email so you can add the people where they can access your repository they can add your they can make changes in your repository in this case if you have a public so no need to add somebody to handle your repository in the case you have a private repository and you want to give the access to someone or some organization or people who are working you can add here okay branches as you know what is the branch to creating a multiple of branch to the master branch so other people can work on that branch and they can update then web hook so this is the important let me go with this line web hook allow external service to be notified when certain event happens when the specific event happen you will be send a post request to each of your url you provide okay so i have open this small i'll give this url in the description so you can read it it is very important to the devops engineer i'm serious telling you web hook provide a way to notification to deliver a external web service whenever certain action occupy on the repository or organization so it is type of notification you are sending to the other url that means if you have integrated the 
other services like we will go in the aws we will connect our aws through the github so it will send the notification okay so let me go other lines web hook can trigger whenever a variety of action are performed on the repository or organization for example you can configure web hook to execute whenever a repository is pushed to a pull request is open a git page site is built a new member is added so this is the you are sending to the notification to people who are connected in your repository whenever this event take place okay i hope you can understand you got what what that mean by webhook okay you you can make this webhook up a uh, update external issue track trigger code integration builds update the backup miner even deploy your production server okay this is very useful the devops so guys be careful learn more about this web allow to build and set up git apps which subscribe to certain event of your git dot com github dot com when one of this event are trigger you will send a http post payload on your webhook configuration url so which event this event take place you have you will get you will notice file to the other people okay go to the next and let me find what is in add hook so if you click on add hook you will give the url so you can give the url such as suppose you have a aws integration you can give the url so there are multiple of content type i'll go one by one so no worry about that which event you like to trigger in this hook so you can select any of this event push send me anything let me select individual event okay then you can add from here so right now i am leaving as it is when you go for the further detail about the fab hook i'll tell more about this so what is the issue issue yaar uh, will go one by one pushing project wiki inside setting so that is the other option and uh, come back to code and we have this release what is this release so i have opened this option so what you can do uh, i'll just read release our github way to packing and providing software to your user you can think as it is as a replacement of using download to provide software and with release you can provide link to binary file as well as release note describing your changes and so you can simply return here you whatever you have made changes and you are ready to release yeah you are ready to migrate with you can you can provide link to a binary file okay so here you have a snap of that i'll go in i'll show what we can do in release in the demo class but right now you just go through this definition as well as, as well as release note describing changes in other code release are based on git tag tag mark on a specific point on your history of your project yeah this guy line make you understood what is that release so they are great way to indicate indicate a release release are ordered by a tag date in the following way if it is the annotated tag a tag object date is used if it is lightweight tag then commit object date is used okay so there is lots more about the release i'll go in the demo so i'll show how to do all this tagging providing link to binary file as well releasing describe change so it's you can consider as a release as a providing a tag suppose you have a something important you want to highlight you can just tag that you can tagging is the two type annotated tagging and lightweight so it will be very that and uh, 
limitation of binary file you don't we don't limit the total size of binary release file or bandwidth which used to deliver then however each individual file must under 2 gb in size okay that is said that's it about the releasing and uh, in the next video we will learn what is the issue project victory and all the other options which are available in the github so that's set about this video so keep subscribe take fall be active in this account so we can learn more and more about this github thank you for watching please subscribe share it this share this channel to everyone and like my video and comment it if you have any query if you did not understood let me know in the comment or you can tweet me at everything club thank you and keep learning